Alright, problem number four. We're going to find the equation of y. Once again, we're going to slope intercept. And we are starting with two points. We said we always need a point and a slope to start. Since we don't have a slope, first thing we need to do is find our slope by doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and then substituting those values in negative 3 minus a negative 4 and then it's negative 4 minus a negative 2 we want to add our inverse on all the places that apply so we're going to have 1 over negative 2 okay we said we need a point and we need a slope here's my slope and I'm just going to choose this first point to substitute back into our point slope formula which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 alright my point slope formula down now I'm going to start making my substitutions so it's going to be y minus y1 is negative 4 my slope is negative 1 half then I have x minus my x1 is negative 2 I have my inverse on all the places that I need to and then I'm going to start simplifying so I'll have y plus 4 equals negative 1 half x and I'm going to distribute over here if I put that over 1 I'm going to have negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2 over 2 times 1 which is 2 and I take one step to simplify that gives me a negative 1 now we still have to get y by itself so we want to subtract 4 from both sides so we're going to say y equals negative 1 half x minus 5 and this is going to be slope intercept form now number five is going to ask us to write an equation in standard form and it gives us the guidelines that it goes to the point one five and is horizontal well horizontal that is a line that visually looks like this and we know that all horizontal lines are defined by y equals some number back at page one of the videos when we described all of them so we know it's a y equals some number the only thing we know about it is this one point it's through. So what does the y value equal? 5. So our equation is y equals 5. Number 6 is a similar type problem, except for this time we know the point, and we also know that it is vertical. Well, a vertical line looks like this, and by that we know it's an undefined slope, and a good way to remember that is up and down for undefined. So if I have an undefined slope, I know all of these vertical lines are x equals some number types of equations. So then I know my answer is going to be x equals, and the only thing I know about x in this given problem is that it goes to the point negative 210, so my equation is going to be x equals negative 2. Okay, this next problem is going to be one of our longest problems, and we want to go to standard form, but before we start, we know we must have a point and a slope. So the first thing we're going to have to do is start out by getting a slope. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Make those substitutions. I have negative 5 minus 0 on top. Then I'm going to have negative 4 minus 4 on the bottom, so I should finish with negative 5 over negative 8 which is negative divided by negative is a positive so now that I have a slope I want to choose one of the points I'm going to choose this point it doesn't matter which one and I want to plug it into my point slope formula y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 and you should be starting to get to familiar with this form y minus our y1 is 0 our slope is 5 eighths x minus and our x1 is going to be 4 so now we want to simplify y minus 0 is just y 
distribute here and we get 5 eighths x and then when we distribute here I'm going to put 4 over 1 and multiply straight across and that's going to give me negative 4 times 5 is 20 and then on the bottom 8 times 1 is 8 so we want to simplify this still y equals 5 8 x minus Um, divide both sides by 4 and we will get a 5 over 2. Okay, this is our slope intercept form of an equation. This would be slope intercept. And that's where we stop for most of them. But remember, we go back up to our direction and it says we want to go to standard form, which is also often known as our general form. Standard form is ax plus by equals c and if you notice the x variable and the y variable are both on the left of the equal sign so if I take my slope intercept form that we left off with okay that's our slope intercept and I rearrange this so that it's in a format of standard I need my x and my y value variables to both be on the left so I need to move this one over here so we're going to subtract 5 eighths x from both sides and then I have negative 5 eighths x plus y these cancel equals negative 5 halves now x and y are on the same side but standard form does not like it to have fractions in it so I have to look at all my denominators 8 a known one and a two and find the least common denominator and multiply it by every one so I'm going to use eight multiply everything in the problem by eight and now simplify term by term in the first term divide eight out of both of these and then I'm going to get one times negative five x is just going to be negative five x right here the second term I just get 8 times y is 8y and my last one I want to simplify if I divide this by 2 I have to divide this by 2 and I get a 4 well now I'm left with 4 times negative 5 which is negative 20 okay some standard forms let you leave your answer like this and if you can't find this answer as one of your choices, then what they may do is um, multiply through by a negative 1. So that's your A value. Remember, our A value is the one with the X. is not negative. So if that's the case, you just multiply through by a negative 1, and it changes all the signs. So it would be 5X minus 8Y equals 20. So for standard form, you will have one of these answers depending on um, how particular it is about the A value being positive or negative. And our next one, it says write an equation, an undefined slope. Remember we said undefined is up and down, and that is a vertical line. So vertical lines have x equals some number for their equation. So what does x equal in the only point we're given? the equation of this line is x equals 0 and then number 9 they tell us our slope is 0 so a slope of 0 is a horizontal line all horizontal lines we know are y equals some number okay well then we know our equation is y equals and the only thing we know about a y value is it goes to the point when the y is negative 4 so our equation for this line is y equals negative 4